The urgent message to stay home appears to finally be getting through. In California, the notoriously busy highways are nearly empty. The hustle and bustle of New York is at a standstill. Governors in four states have now asked residents not to go out unless absolutely necessary. This is not life as usual and uh, accept it and uh, realize it and deal with it. The president is supportive of the moves by the individual states, but a nationwide lockdown is not in the works. At his daily briefing, Donald Trump focused on what he sees as the positive, highlighting a malaria drug he says could be used to treat coronavirus patients. I feel good about it. That's all it is, just a feeling. I, you know, I'm a smart guy. I feel good about it. The top doctor on the task force is not as optimistic because there is no science to show it's effective. It's the hope that it will work versus proving that it will work. Trump has become increasingly agitated at his daily briefings when reporter questions force him to acknowledge this situation is rapidly getting worse. What do you say to Americans who are watching you right now who are scared? Uh, I say that you're a terrible reporter, that's what I say. Fear is very real for Americans who are now out of work. I'm just trying to be as normal as possible. I already had a lot going on. Hey, this is Danielle. How can I help you? This Indiana mom is among half the staff at a cafe laid off in order to keep the place running. It was probably the hardest thing I've ever done as a manager. Because um, there's just nothing I can do. More Americans are expected to be in that same position. Experts predict 2 million people will likely apply for unemployment benefits next week. Katie Simpson, CBC News, Washington.